Hello fellow audio nerds, I'm Steph and this is Major Hi-Fi. So I'm continuing on my final audio kick and with that I'd like to introduce to you another one of their new earphones. This one is the Final Audio E5000. Now if you saw my video about the 4000, you'll know that Final Audio can really make a super high quality product for relatively inexpensive price. Now the 5000 is a step up from the 4000 in that um, there are a few extra features uh, and the price is a little bit more as well. This one goes for $279. So you might be wondering, okay, what are the differences? Is it really worth that price increase? Well, today I'll explore that with you here. So let's go back in time to my first impression and then I'll let you know what I thought. All right, here we go. Hey everybody. So right now I'm in Central Park and I'm gonna do my first listen here with the Final Audio E5000. So here's the box. Packaging so far kind of looks just like the E4000. If you saw that video, I'll put a little link to it somewhere over here. But yeah, so here's the inside. Same silicone uh, carrying case here. here. earphones yep here they are and yeah already I'm sort of noticing a difference between the 4000 which was you know the finish is different on these these are stainless steel the other ones were aluminum I know it's still an OFC cable but this cable looks like you know the the wires are actually individually insulated here so and then for accessories got the carabiner again the ear hooks and then the ear tips. So yeah, the um, the design of these is really similar to the others. Um, the actual driver housings seem pretty small and compact. And additionally, you know, these cables are detachable. So I put the ear hooks on here because I'm hoping to try try those out when I um, when I do my listen. Oh yeah, and I really like the fit of them. They're super sound isolating too because. Um, there's definitely like people and things and stuff going on kind of around me and the sound is definitely uh, blocked a bit when I wear these. Uh, I'm gonna get this all set up with my music and I will uh, come back when I'm ready. All right, so uh, for this listening test, I'm just again gonna be listening through my Fio i1 into my phone and uh, later on I'll do a more kind of in-depth test, but uh, just for now, first impression. Yeah, this is awesome. So right now I'm listening to Dr. Dog's song Listening In. The song sort of starts out with this like kick, snare, shaker, and guitar, and there's just like awesome separation, but most impressively the kick drum sounds awesome. It's like big and it rounds. Lots of sub energy, yet it's still, you know, sustained and really smooth sounding. Wow, the mid range is so smooth, so, so smooth. It's smooth, and yet there's like really great dynamics, you know? I'm listening to um, a song by uh, Las Cavatereas. Um, called uh, El Zapateado, and there are a lot of like different kind of string instruments, per very percussive string instruments. So I can hear a lot of movement here, but there's also just like a sense of pleasantness in that mid-range that's really, really nice. Like these earphones can sort of pick up on those quick transients of like the guitars and ukuleles and like the percussion, but there's also this like mellowness to it that's just like really awesome. And the vocals in the mid-range stand out in a really impressive way. It doesn't feel like overemphasized really, but there's just like a lot of spaciousness there. Oh yeah, okay, so now I'm sort of like doing a little test here on the highs. I'm listening to a song called uh, Here We Go Again by Ray Charles. It's featuring Nora Jones from his duets album, which I love that album, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> this song in particular has like a lot of really subtle ghost notes with the snare brushes. 
and you can hear them so clearly here and there's really like an awesome sense of space. And I guess actually this is now a pattern with this earphone, but in the highs as well, just like the mids, I'm getting a sense of this like kind of smoothness. Like the highs don't feel overly emphasized really. They feel really beautiful, but it's almost like maybe a little bit ducked back. Um, not in like a unclear sort of way, still like very even and clear, but just in a sort of this like veil of like pretty smooth aestheticness. I don't know. And again, maybe it's something in the highs actually that's affecting kind of where the vocal sits, but it had it just feels so spacious. Um, let me try listening to something where like the highs are just have less space in general. Um, but yeah, I'm just overall really impressed with the way that these respond to vocals. Listen to the song Rigid Man by Sumac. <laughs> and even here, like the vocal, I mean, it, there's still like the, how do I put this, tough kind of sound there. But there is this like air of, I don't know, maybe it is some like high frequency extension actually. Um, really beautiful. Oh man, now this is what these earphones are for. Um, I'm listening to some Herbie Hancock right now, the song Alone and I. There's nothing like listening to jazz in New York City. It just kind of feels like it fits with all of the commotion and yet beauty and yet, yeah. Anyway, this is a really great representation of the soundstage. The cymbals sound really high above my head when I really listen. The stand-up bass sounds like it's kind of coming from like down down here like I don't know um, it's just really really um, really impressive actually and my favorite there's no like harshness but there's so much clarity especially in the high end I'm, yeah it's really really great I'm going to enjoy this <laughs> for a while and uh, yeah I'll meet back up with you in the future when I've spent a little bit more time with these all right here we go the design of the E5000 follows the tradition of other final audio products. It's classy and it's simple and it's minimalistic. And I really love that about these earphones. Additionally, the cable is really, really awesome. Uh, very low noise floor, meaning can really deliver the dynamics in a clean and quick way. And I love that about these. Lastly, I love, the, I love that they include the little ear hooks because it not only contributes to you know, minimizing the cable noise from movement and stuff, but it also just makes it really comfortable to wear and uh, kind of keeps them in place really well. They're removable and you can kind of customize these to fit however you want them to fit. Low frequencies are soft and pillowy, yet they're also sort of elevated and solid, so it creates this really great foundation underneath everything. Um, and that big softness just adds a lot to, you know, the prettiness of the low frequencies here, um, as well as their ability to sort of still have some impact and still have uh, a sense of, of bigness. Now the mid-range on these earphones is absolutely gorgeous. It's warm and it's smooth. And in addition to that, it's also quick, which makes it able to sort of uh, translate detail and give the earphones liveliness. So the fact that there's a mixture of musicality and warmth there mixed with the high level of detail that it has, I think that's a really special winning combination with these earphones. The high frequencies are clear and smooth and um, at the same time they're also sort of modest. The earphones were darker than I was sort of expecting but I really like the pleasantness of that dark sound signature. There's also a really great sense of high frequency extension. And as a result, the sound stage kind of reflects that. It gives everything more height and it sort of adds this sense of like airiness and roominess to everything. That really makes listening to these uh, and to the sound stage really, really pleasant, really nice. Overall, the E5000 has a very particular sound. It's very warm and smooth. And for those looking for that kind of sound signature, 
there's really no better earphone for you than the E5000, especially in this price range. There's really nothing that even comes close to it. It's really great for all genres I found, uh, but in particular, I really loved it with jazz. You know, it really can kind of recreate uh, all, of the all of those live acoustic instruments in a really beautiful way. Like, it's just such a pleasant, aesthetically pleasing sound that you get from these. So. Anyway, if you're into jazz, you might really like these. Thanks everybody so much for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time. Bye.